Thank you. What do you guys usually watch in your free time? All right, I'm gonna be right back. Hey y'all, my name is Desi and I'm a level one chef. Hi, I'm Beth and I'm a level two chef. Hi, I'm Chris Scott and I've been a professional chef for 32 years. Some people use mozzarella sticks for cheat day. I call it eat day. Like a nice smile, you break it apart. So the cheese is smiling. This is the appetizer that we all order. It's crunchy, it's stretchy, absolutely delicious. You can't get no better than that. Cheese, bread, sauce, duh. I'm gonna start with the cheese. Now my choice of cheese is polio string cheese. I like polio whole milk mozzarella cheese. I really like the flavor, and I like the way that it holds up when you fry it. Today I'm making handmade mozzarella cheese. Nah, I would never make my own mozzarella. Too much responsibility, no. I'm gonna take my curd, and I'm gonna make gentle little tears and place that directly into the bowl. Cheese curds are the milk solids that are stretched and formed to make cheese. Chef Frank had me do that when I did my grilled cheese episode, but it's a tremendous amount of work. From there, I'm going to take a little bit of sea salt and work that into it. I'm boiling more water now so I can continue the process. And now Guys, what did you all eat water, today? I'm, I'm so to hungry. That. You can see already that it's starting to loosen up. Adding that hot water melts it down to where I'm able to kind of knead it into the mozzarella that you What's know he doing? What I know. I want to try to get all the pieces the same size. So I'm going to cut it in half. Then I'm going to cut the half Curry in half. Curry so young. And then I'm going to cut some... the quarter in really half good. again. If it's a square, it's not a mozzarella stick. It's a cheese patty. To me, a mozzarella stick does not have to be a stick shape. I'm going to take my cheese out of the package. A cheese drink. Huh. Put them on the plate. Store bought string cheese is great. The kids love it all the time. But it's what's your one favorite of those type of cheese? Huh? You don't really know how old it is. It's been sitting in the store. It just tastes processed. A salad. I much rather wow. go with a plain really. block of cheese. Look how it came already. It's less work. Bigger is better. Just make it taste good and have fun doing it. I am kneading this <clears> properly <throat> so that it gets all of those wrinkles out of there, so that it's smooth, it's shiny, and that it doesn't fall apart when I move on to my next step. I'm making these mozzarellas into balls. I'm gonna wrap the prosciutto around that, which I think will Press be interesting. Fresco. And when you bite into it, it's gonna be A cool. different type of cheese? What you mean, Rima? That's kind of sus. Like putting a hamburger in a hot dog bun. All right, it's my cheese, now I'm ready to go. Size it up, squeeze, and then I'm gonna put the. I love cheese, but I'm also lactose. So that they stop so, cooking and they hold uh, their shape. So now that these mozzarella balls are already hooked up, let's move on to the breading. All right. So right now, I'm gonna work on the breading. Store bought seasoned breadcrumbs, Italian to be exact. Not too spicy. Not What's too hot. Breadcrumbs. They that soft crunch. You don't want to be chewing. Crackers. I like panko crumbs better because the pieces are larger. It adheres better to the cheese than if I use fine breadcrumbs. And I'm gonna season it up. I'm gonna be using this rustica bread, which is basically an Italian rustic loaf. What I want is the inside. This is gonna be the good stuff right here. But that looks I'm good. good. <laughs> I'm so hungry that I bread looks busting. I never make my own breadcrumbs though. Well, I'm gonna leave this torn bread overnight in the oven until it's totally dry. Pecorino Romano cheese, freshly grated. I use dry parsley because the fresh parsley tends to burn. Gouda cheese, mozzarella cheese. Not too much salt. Cheddar cheese. The cheese is salty. So now much the cheese. bread is nice, it's toasted, it's crispy. And it will really absorb all of the new flavors. Paneer that cheese, what's into. that remote? I'm buzzing up the breadcrumbs to be a little bit smaller than panko, but a little bit larger. Do any of you guys your bake your own bread at home? Day fine breadcrumb. Now I'm gonna cook it with a little bit of clarified butter. I am going to crush the garlic. Now you're gonna Sam, get Sam, I feel like I've been streaming for so long, but it's only been three so hours, what the hell? These breadcrumbs have been toasting for 30 minutes. They're golden brown, they're toasty, they're fragrant. I'm gonna add the lemon and parsley. Very clean, herbaceous. Oh, it's spring. Indian cheese. Oh, okay. All right, now let's get to bread. My favorite part. What I'm going to do is take a little piece of the prosciutto, wrap it around the ball. My breading process is Fortnite. I'm going to take the oh. cheese, dip mm. it in the egg, dip it in the panko, and put it right on the tray. This prosciutto is going to add a salty crispness. It's going to add some uniqueness. You know, it's going to be different. So I'm cracking these eggs, I'm getting ready for the breading station. We're going to mix 
the eggs and the milk. I add water to the eggs to help thin it out and to just Why make it a more the cohesive like mixture. I'm going to take my string cheese, that color. one flour, one roll. Always start with the flour so that it? the egg has something to stick to. I know that there is a whole school of thought about breading with flour first before the eggs. I never did it that way. Got the cheese in the egg. I'm going to mix it with the egg and milk. Get it into the panko breadcrumbs. Bread and I'm going into the breadcrumb twice because I want to make sure that there are no eruptions of cheese. Definitely make sure that all the sides are covered. I don't know. I think they're just all making their own versions of like cheese flour, sticks, right? Egg, breadcrumb, egg. Back to the breadcrumb. Isn't that what they're doing? They're going to be nice and crunchy. Now they're breaded. I'll eat it right now if I could, but I'm not going to do that because you get sick. I'm going to put them in the freezer. I usually put them in there for six to ten hours, but you leave them in there for overnight, for as long as you want. I got to wash my hands. Now it's time. Hi, Kabu. Get the cooking. I'm gonna use the Sorry if I didn't see you in chop before. Cook. How are you doing? Yes, mess. This is the new popping thing right now to cook everything in. You can cook lamb chop in here. I am not a fan of the air fryer. It's like a big convection oven. Oh, I air fry salmon, uh, french fries. <laughs> Sam, what you add? Don't pizza. you air fry everything? Easy. I'll tell you, less mess. It's not as crispy. You definitely I'm don't chilling. have that submerged in oil flavor that frying is all about. If you're going to no, eat nothing. sticks. I just, Go I don't know, I just Enjoy thought of you event. using My the air fryer. <laughs> cookery right here is going to be this tabletop. I'm not a good cook either. Home use deep fryer. I've never deep fried anything. I like, I like my stuff easy and Rima, did you get enough three. sleep? I can really control the temperature on this one, where if you were using a cast iron or a Dutch oven... I'm not trying you, you down. I'm, I'm lifting you up. It's a little bit harder. What you this talking way, about? The computer sets everything for you. You just do it and you're good to go. The spray helps the mozzarella sticks stay golden brown. And also, too, you know, you want the golden brown on your mozzarella sticks. Now that my mozzarella sticks have been in the freezer for about an hour, my mom's an all right cook, but she only knows how to cook so Chinese food. Golden brown on the outside and soft and squishy on the inside. With a deep fryer, all it gets on you, you gotta go to the hospital. It's dangerous. I kind of start at a shallow pace. The deeper that I go, Wait, that looks the more so agitation good. with the oil is going to happen. That could erupt the cheese. I want them to have enough room to dance around. Chinese in the food oil. is good. What's up, Niners? How you doing? I'm going to set the temperature for 390 for about three minutes. I'm not sure what the advantage would be to air frying them. To me, it's, it's a cheat code. If you can't cook, or if you if you cook like myself, get an air fryer. Yep, that's three minutes. Let's see how these mozzarella sticks came out. I think we should be good now. Oh, look at that. Mmm. You hear that sizzle? It's mozzarella says talking, saying we ready. Always salt immediately when they come out of the fryer. <laughs> well, it's not that I really stole Frank the name. Said, it's more like... Can't have enough salt. I saw someone else with the name and I liked it. Separate them. It's not like a super oh, unique name anyway. Cheese is smiling at you. See it? So now yeah, these mozzarella balls are fried up. I'm taking some extra prosciutto. We're watching people make cheese sticks. Almost like a crispy Dora. bacon almost. And I'm going to Squid, use are we that queuing? as garnish going on? for these delicious mozzarella balls already wrapped in prosciutto. I'm starting to work on my sauce. Now I'm using jar prego marinara sauce. Slap the butt. Mm. All I'm going to do is pour it in the pot and heat it up. This is a little unusual. It's a pesto sauce. It's I supposed to be hoshi, not hashi. It's a great idea. But Having something different yeah. is great. I started to put some bitter arugula in with my basil and pistachios instead of pine nuts. Okay, Squid, let's certain... play. Um, Because I haven't played with Squid and he's been asking for like months now. Um, I'll go on a lower account and I'll add you. Hold on. And dip your mozzarella sticks you in better there. not you throw my game squid the pressure's okay. on every mozzarella stick needs a great sauce right so i'm going to do what is called an arabiata sauce which is a spicy uh, tomato so sauce. have you added on this corn chili flake so it's not too i'm crazy trying to send you my beat it has that burn extra virgin got the garlic in there and the hot flakes no nah, i'm not gonna make homemade sauce it's already in the store they got a hundred different types of homemade sauce so i'll make my own now you get this turn. I want to heat it nice and evenly so it's not hot, it's not cold. Take your time, it's on wrist work. All I have to do is throw everything in the food processor and pulse it up. First the arugula, the basil, lemon zest, pecorino romano cheese, pistachio nuts, garlic, some salt. Can you mess with me, squid? I don't know, I don't remember what, what your discord is. Paste in there right now. 
start to caramelize all that. I'm gonna go in with the tomato product, chopped oregano and parsley. Let this simmer, concentrate all of those flavors. Really gonna infuse together for about an hour and a half. It takes Chris two hours to make his sauce. <laughs> Within two hours, I'm done to making more mozzarella sticks. I actually turned up a little bit because I want to cook a little faster because I'm not doing two hours like Chris. I need my stuff to be <coughs> later, stuff to be later, so I'm trying to get this out of the way. I'll just add the olive oil until I get... Wait, and Hyphen, are you fluent in Japanese? It's nice and smooth. Should we turn the open the store? Sample the sauce, see where you at with it. Let me just taste it for uh, seasoning. That's really good. Mmm, this is good. I'm, I can eat this by itself. It's not too hot, it's not too cold, right in the middle. <laughs> so I'm working. Put the sauce in this little dish here. <laughs> They're ready for the mozzarella sticks. <laughs> so now that this has been reducing for an hour and a half, it's ready to go. Now I'm ready to plate. I'm gonna put my sauce in the plate. I'm getting my sauce down. Treat the plate like this. Mozzarella balls on top. Put them around the side like a clock. I don't know why I'm bothering because the video is on in a seconds, but it's nice to plate what? pretty. Little garnishes of crispy prosciutto and parsley. I really like Wait, that looks really good. And these are my mozzarella sticks and marinara sauce. Chat, who's do you and think looks the best? And these are my mozzarella the sticks with a pesto dipping sauce. That looks pretty and good. These are my prosciutto. I think his are my favorite with though. Arabiata sauce. I'm gonna go with Chris's. I'm actually excited. I wish I didn't have to eat these. I want to uh, frame these and put them on Facebook. And I know they're gonna taste delicious. I've made them so many times. The fragrance is coming at me. I can't wait to dig in. They're meant to be eaten now. I'll eat them all. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Look at that cheese pull. Just as I planned. Look at that, still smiling. Now, that's what I'm talking about right there. That's mozzarella. That's really good. I need to make some more. Like I'm hungry. Like Prosciutto crisp, loving it. Hey man, if at first you don't succeed, get air fried. What's level four? Mozzarella sticks are so good, any time of day or night. Let's see how each of our three chefs made theirs. Mozzarella becomes stringy while hard cheeses don't. This is because the casein proteins, which form cheese curds, are linked together with calcium from the starter milk into long, thin fibers that are cohesive but can stretch. Desi used string cheese, which is a form of mozzarella, heated to 140 degrees Fahrenheit and packaged. At this temperature, proteins are aligned in a parallel matrix that allows for smoother gliding of the proteins when heat is added. Mozzarella is so chat, uh, my brain can't cheese. compute science. Cow's milk cheeses tend to be more golden in color because cows can't metabolize beta carotene, a pigment associated with orange and golden colors. Occasionally, titanium dioxide may be added <laughs> yes, in order to make absolutely. mozzarella very white mm, yes. and uniform in appearance. Right. It's also added to make toothpaste oh, white. Okay. Beth used uh -huh. whole milk mozzarella, uh -huh. which has a moisture okay. percentage around right. 45 to 52%. Yes, this right. is still a lower <laughs> right. moisture percentage than fresh mozzarella, which makes it firm for cutting into sticks. Chris did a level three Pepe elevation G. by stretching his own mozzarella. He soaked preformed mozzarella curds in hot water to start the melting process. He gently worked and stretched and folded the curds until they came together into a mass. He then separated the mass into golf ball sized portions. Wow, <laughs> that's so crazy. Desi used jarred marinara <laughs> sauce. Wow. Marinara is a thin wow, tomato thank you so sauce. Much for sharing. Some commercially wow, produced sauces have added sugar, citric acid as a preservative, and salt. Ew. Most are hot packed, which means the sauce is made, Guys, I can't hear the video. pasteurization, and then deposited into jars, sealed and cooled, making them shelf stable until the jar is opened. Beth made her own pesto, a sauce that's blended but not cooked. It's made with lots of basil, which is fragrant from eugenol which is synthesized when the leaves are cut or damaged by the action of an enzyme called eugenol synthase. She also uh, added pepper for Twitter arugula, takeover. What are you going to make me clean? Garlic and the juice of a lemon to add my, I usually try to keep my Twitter really clean and wholesome. Life. Crunchy on the outside, so I'm scared. on the inside. There are so many different options when it comes to mozzarella sticks. In fact, you can even make them into balls. Next time you are making this delicious snack.